you need to know how to use the printer. It's new. It's beautiful. It does need some love. Okay, so once you go and send your copy to the printer, you must have your batch. Okay, you can't send the kids anymore to just pick up their papers. So I've already sent something here. See, it says hold card here. I am going to scan in. Everything you have asked to send to the printer is automatically going to print out. Okay, so if you need it stapled because you forgot to hit staple, you can stick it into our staple here, and you would have to hit the green button. See it flashing? It's ready to go. And voila, stapled. Okay. Now, if it says it's out of paper, just got to go find the paper. You'll open up the drawer all the way. Slip in your paper. Close. Okay. If you were trying to print to cardstock, the best place for the cardstock is going to be over here on this side. It's called the bypass tray. You'll stick it in here. Now, for it to come out on the bypass tray on your printer, you would have had to set your printer settings for that off the computer. Okay, so if it is your first time coming to print at the printer, when you scan your badge in, it is going to ask you to enter your credentials. Okay, exactly how you log into your computer is how you're going to log in here. You'll click on where it asks you to put in your username, and look at this. There's a keyboard. You can simply start typing on the keyboard if you don't like the touchpad. And then you'll have to click the next place for your password, and then you'll hit for it to link to your card, okay? And then you're gonna have to badge back in, okay? And if you have sent something to the copier, it is going to automatically print for you. If you are trying to copy an item, okay, you can use up here, okay? Or you can use it like the copier it needs to be face down, our arrow, it starts up here, okay? You close, and this is where you're gonna get into some of your features, okay? You can copy, you can scan the email, you can scan it to a folder in our drive as well. If you're trying to copy, you'll hit copy, and you can pick whether it's gonna be a color or black and white, because our copier does both. You can select the type of paper if you're using cardstock or if you're using regular paper. Okay, so you pick what tray it's in as well. So if you have put cardstock into the side, your bypass tray, you would say that over here, but you would need to make sure that it says the correct type. So right now it says labels, but say I put cardstock in. I have to now go find my heavy paper. Okay, that's going to be your cardstock. Hit OK, and you can say OK there, and whatever I copy is going to come off from the bypass tray. If I want something that currently is one-sided, and there's two pages of it, but I want it back and back, it is going to be one-sided to two-sided. That will get me two-page paper onto one document, one page. Okay, if something is two-sided right now and I still want it to be two-sided, that's going to be your two-sided to two-sided. If something is two-sided and I only want it one-sided, two-sided to one-sided. Okay? If right now it's one-sided and you still want it one-sided, it's simply one-sided to one-sided. That's your default setting. You'll hit OK. You will tell it how many copies you want. Okay, if you mess up, you can hit the C button. If you mess all of this up, you can simply go to CA, which is going to clear all the settings and go back to default. Okay, once you have it, you can tell it to start your copy. Okay, so BW is going to be your black and white. Color is going to be your color copy. If you want staples, okay, there is a staple sort right here. Okay, so if you know you have this document that's going to be multiple pages and you need it stapled, you can tell it one staple, two staples, okay, or a staple list, okay, and it's going to staple for you. You tell it if you want it on the left corner, the top, right, okay, you can tell. Looking to scan 
send something in, it's going to be a scanned email. You're going to put your paper in, close it, make sure you scan in, okay, scan to email. Okay, here you can say whether you want it to be color or black and white. You can pick your resolution, and this is going to be important, your file format. So if you're trying to upload it to a document or a website or somewhere afterwards, you need to know what file format you need, whether it's going to be a TIFF, a PDF. Uh, usually you're going to be working with PDF or JPEG mostly. Okay, right now I'm going to say to PDF. When you scan in your address bar, it's automatically going to register your email address. If you want it somewhere else, you have to click the X touch to input and this is where you can start scanning or typing in your email address that you want it to send to. Say okay. Subject. You can tell it again what subject you want. Hit okay. File name. If you want it to have a specific file name, you can give that as well. If you don't, it will just come up with a random file name for you and you can change it later on your computer. Okay, and then you will simply hit start okay, and it will send to your email. Okay, so I know a lot of you end up making copies of copies. The more you make a copy of a copy, your exposure is going to lessen. But there's a way to fix that on here. So again, you'll put your paper on, scan in. When you come over to copy, you'll hit exposure. Okay, this is, can also be, if you've got a picture, you can change it. If you've got picture and text, okay, so if it's all text, you can leave it, but you want to change your exposure. You're going to want to make it darker if it's been a copy of a copy. Okay, you'll hit OK, and you can simply start the process all over to two, copy. Okay, so for those of you that do interactive notebooks, you might have printed a full sheet paper, and you don't want them to have to fold it. You just want it to fit nicely into their notebook. You can change the size of your copy when you go to copy it then. Scan in. Hit your copy. And you're going to go to copy ratio. And honestly, you can hit the 77%, and that should work just fine for you. You'll hit OK. And now you just tell it how many copies you want and hit start. Have fun copying.